Parallax animation is a technique used to create depth and perspective by moving foreground and background elements at different speeds. In this video, I will demonstrate on how to create animated background with parallax effect. Before we start animating the background art, it is essential to separate the artwork into multiple layers for animation. Separating foreground, middle ground and background elements to create the parallax effect. As you can see, the more layers we use, the more noticeable the effects become. One way to achieve parallax animation is by arranging the layers in 3D space and animate the camera movement. To do this in After Effects, first, turn the artwork layer into a 3D layer by clicking this cube icon. Then, rearrange all the layer's Z positions. Also scale up the distant layers so they fit to the screen better. Next, we can add a camera to the scene through Layer New Camera. Moving the camera now will create a parallax effect animation. Let's do the final adjustments so all the layers fit better to our screen. In addition of using 3D layers, I often find it quicker to use 2D layers to create parallax effect background. The main principle is to animate the layers with different speeds. Object further from the camera will have slower animation, while the closer one will move and animate faster. In the following section, I will explain how we can achieve various types of parallax animation using After Effects 2D layers. A camera zoom, or sometimes known as forward dolly, can be achieved by animating layer skill property. Begin by adding a keyframe to all layer skill property, then proceed to the end of the animation and scale them up slightly. Scaling up the layers gives the illusion of a camera zoom in, but it doesn't create the parallax effect that we want in our animation. The key to animate a parallax zoom animation is to scale each of the layers with different end values incrementally. The further the objects from our view, the smaller value we should use for the keyframes. For instance, I increase the scale of the sky layer to 110% and gradually increase each layer scale by 10% more. To do a zoom out or backward dolly parallax animation, we just need to reverse the animation keyframes. Vertical or horizontal parallax animations are accomplished by animating the X or Y properties of the layers. These techniques are often employed to simulate tilting panning or tracking camera movement. Start by adding a position keyframe for all the layers. Then, navigate to the end of the animation and reposition the layers. For horizontal camera movement, adjust the X value. And for vertical camera movement, modify the Y value. In this example, I will be animating horizontal movement. Keep in mind that the further the distance, the slower the animation should be. So, remember to offset the values for all the layers to achieve the desired parallax effect. As can be seen here, our animations are cropped after we animate the layers. There are several options to address this error. We can apply motion tile filter to the layers. Next, expand the output with and animate the mirror edges option. Besides that, CC repeat tile filter can also be used to solve this issue. In this case, Increase expand right value and set tiling option to checker flip hash. 
Then, we can copy and paste the filter to all the layers. As you can see here, filters are not always the best option, as they can create repetitive patterns. So, sometimes I create a bigger artwork for the parallax scrolling. In the addition of moving the layers in one direction, we can animate them in different directions to achieve an arc shot. In this example, all the background layers are animated to move to the right, while all the foreground layers are animated to move to the left. The key factor is to animate the layers closer to the focus point at a slower pace to achieve the parallax effect. To create a more engaging parallax animation, we could animate more properties of the layers. In this example, I'm keyframing both the scale and rotation properties of the layers, simulating a rotational zoom effect. Although this tutorial focuses on after effects, but you can apply this method with any other 2D software easily. If you found this video informative and learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing to support the growth of my channel. Until next time, take care. Thank you.